Good morning. Today, I will present our paper entitled Horizontally Elastic Age Founder Rule for Cumulative Constraints Based on Slack and Density. In this work, we solve scheduling problems using the constraint programming approach. Scheduling is usually defined as the allocation of a scarce resource to task over time. Scheduling problems can be classified according to the nature of the task, the type of the constraint, and the objective function used to characterize the solution. The success of constraint programming on scheduling problems comes from the global filtering algorithms used to prune the search tree. At each node of the tree search, filtering algorithms are repeatedly applied. Therefore, it is important for them to be fast and efficient. Those qualities are in general conflicting, especially for the cumulative constraint used to model a capacity limit of a resource required by some tasks. The more the filtering algorithm is powerful, the more it needs time, it needs time to execute. The challenge is to design a filtering algorithm trade-off between the speed and the filtering power. Time tabling and age finding are the core al filtering algorithms embedded in the cumulative constraint. In this paper, the filtering power of the age finding rule is enhanced with the data structure profile. The new rule uses the minimum slack and the maximum density as criteria to select the potential age-finding task intervals on which the profile is applied. Let's start with some notation. First of all, what is a task? Figure A represents a task and its attributes. A task is a rectangle where the vertical side represents the high, the horizontal side, the processing time, and the area, the energy. Each task executes between its earlier starting time and its latest completion time. Notation of a task can be extended to a set of tasks as follows. The energy of the task is the sum of the task energy in the set. The earlier starting time of the set of tasks is the minimum earlier starting time of the task in the set. The latest completion time of a set of tasks is the maximum latest completion time of task in the set. When many tasks execute in parallel on a resource, we talk about cumulative scheduling problems. Cumulative scheduling problems are NP hard to be solved. A sample of cumulative scheduling problem is given on figure B. Here, three tasks, A, B, and C, share a resource of capacity three. The global constraint, cumulative, is used to solve cumulative scheduling problems. It ensures at each time that the capacity of the resource is not violated. Let's consider this USB, where three tasks execute on a resource of capacity three. The starting time allocated to task X, Y, and Z enable them not to violate the resource capacity. The global constraints cumulative embeds many filtering rules, age finding and its variants, not first, no last, timetabling, and so on. Filtering algorithms removes inconsistent values from the starting time of variables domain. It is NP hard to remove 
all such values. In this paper, we use the profile data structure introduced by Jean Grass and Kimper in 2016 to enhance the age finding role. Let's talk about the profile. The profile is a data structure designed to schedule tasks in a horizontally elastic way. A set of tasks is said to be horizontally elastic scheduled if any task start at its earlier starting time, consume not more than its required capacity, at any time when the total capacity of the resource, the resource is exceeded, the surplus of energy is accumulated and consumed later when the resource is no more saturated. The profile data structure is a linked list when nodes are called time points, it allows to compute at each time point the amount of resource available, required, and consumed by a set of tasks. On figure C, we have a cumulative scheduling problem of three tasks, X, Y, and Z, executing on a resource of capacity two. And on figure D, we have drawn the profile of X and Y. On this profile, the tasks X and Y start at the earlier starting time, and none of these tasks use more than the required, and none of these tasks use more than its required capacity. What are the advantages of the profile? It allows to compute a better lower bound of the earliest task completion time of a set of tasks. It makes a good estimation of the available energy of the set of tasks. In figure D, the red dotted line is the available energy of X of Y and of X and Y as usually considered. The black dotted line is the available energy of X and Y given by the profile. Using the profile, we can make a good interpretation of the non preemption of a task. For example, if task Z start at its earlier starting time without preemption, the available energy of the set X, Y, and Z is the same than the one of X and Y. As we can observe on figure D, the available free energy of the profile is not enough to locate that Z. The aim of this work is to reduce the complexity of the FEDGO and TAYU horizontally elastic age founder from OKN square to ON square, where N is the number of tasks and K the number of distance high. To reach this goal, we have chosen, we have taken the maximum, the minimum slack and the maximum density as criteria to select the potential age finding task interval on which the profile is applied. Let's consider this USP of figure E where three tasks execute on a resource of capacity tree. The slack of a set of tasks is defined as the Free uh, the available free energy of the set. For instance, the slack of Y and Z is one represented by the yellow array in figure F. The slack of X, Y, and Z is three as illustrated in figure G. The minimum slack here is obtained with the set YZ. The density 
is the average resource consumption of a set of tasks. In figure H, the density of Y and Z is 2.5. The density of X, Y, and Z is 2.25, as depicted in figure I. The set Y and Z has the maximum density. The minimum slack and the maximum density was used in Kamenu and Orn to design a complete quadratic age finding algorithm. These two criteria are used in this paper to select the potential task interval on which the profile is applied. Let's formalize our role. For a given task I, the global support set of task of minimum slack is specified by the relation tree. Similarly, the global subset of tax of maximal of maximum density is specified in four. The upper bound of these two task intervals are used to specify the potential age finding task interval. The application of the profile on these intervals leads to the new detection rule denoted slack density horizontally elastic age finding. This detection rule, combined with the adjustment rule of Gingras and Kemper, is also called slack density horizontally elastic age finding rule. We, what are the properties of such a rule? The new rule subsumes the age finding and its extension. Therefore, its threshold filtering power is similar to the one of Gingras and Kimper. The new rule is not comparable to the rule of proposed by Gingras and Kimper. It is also not comparable to the timetable age finding rule. It is possible to design a quadratic algorithm for this rule. The methodology used to design the quadratic algorithm is as follows. The first step identify the upper bound of the task interval of minimum slack and maximum density. The second step apply the rule proposed by Fedbo and Tayu on those intervals. In this paper, the first quadratic algorithm where the profile is used to enhance the age finding rule is put forward. To further enhance the filtering power of the new rule, the fixed part of external tasks which overlap with the selected task interval are considered. These fixed parts reduce the available free energy, increasing the detection and the adjustment of the rule. To achieve it, new time points corresponding to the later starting time are introduced. The number of time points moves from 4n plus 1 to 5n plus 1, where n represents the number of tasks the complexity of the resulting algorithm remains quadratic. Experimental results. The new algorithm with improvement denoted slack density, horizontally elastic edge finding was compared to the state-of-the-art algorithms of FEDGO and state-of-the-art horizontally elastic edge finder algorithms of Gingras and Kimper and Fedgo and Tai. Three strategies of selection of variables and values were used to speed up the solving process. Static heuristic and dynamic heuristic. In dynamic heuristic, we have two, the conflict ordering search plus the DOM overway and the conflict ordering search plus smallest. Comparisons were made on instances of benchmark suit LCPSP of library BL and PSP-Lib on set J30, J60, and J90. 
The implementation was done in Java using Choco Solver. Any search taking more than 10 minutes was counted as a failure. The Slack density horizontally age finder in general always solve more instances than the other configurations, whatever heuristic selection considers. The comparisons of the number of backtracks of the Kimper, of Jim Grass and Kimper, Fedgo and Tayu, with the baseline configuration slack density on each instance commonly solved. We design the line x equal to 1, x equal to y. When points are above the line, the slack density records less backtrack than other configuration. When points are down, it's the reverse. In static scheduling, in figure G, many blue points are above the line, meaning that the slack density filters more than the Gingras and Kimber. And some orange points are down, meaning Fedgo and Tayu performs better. This shows that this shows that the slack density, the Gingras and Kimper, and the Fedgo and Tayu are not comparable. Figure K represents the number of instances solved as a function of time for each configuration. The running time gain between the slack density and the two other configurations for the static heuristic is not significant enough. Uh, Pardon, as is list, uh, illustrated in figure K. In dynamic scheduling, when the heuristic conflict ordering search plus DOM overweight is considered, we notice from figure L, which compares the number of backtrack that points are spread on both sides of the line y equal to x in a quasi similar way. Figure M represents the number of instances solved as a function of time for each configuration. The slack density horizontally elastic edge finder slows, solves more instances in a reduced running time as illustrated in figure M. Comparisons using the second dynamic heuristic conflict ordering search plus more or less show according to figure N that comparing the number of backtrack that we can see slack density perform better in many instances than Fedgo and Tayu and Jim Ras and Kimper. The conflict ordering search plus smallest heuristic looks to be a good dynamic heuristic for the new algorithm because it branches on variables which domain has been modified. The running time gain between the slack density and the two other configuration is more prominent, as illustrated on figure O. In sum, our paper entitled Horizontally Elastic Age Finder Rule for Cumulative Constraint Based on Slack and Density is an enhancement of the age finding rule using the profile data structure. It uses the slack and the density as criteria for the selection of that interval. The new rule denotes slack density, horizontally age finding, subsumes the age finding and its extensions. It is not comparable to the timetable age finding, a quadratic algorithm has been designed for the new world. Improvement based on the timetable data structure are used to boost the detection toss the adjustment. The new algorithm is competitive with the state of the art of age finding algorithms. It is a good trade off between the speed and the filtering power of the role. Fedgo and Tayo horizontally elastic age finder. Thanks.
for your kind attention.